In terms of communicating with patients, I think that all patients should be approached first and foremost with respect and without prejudice. And I think it's really important to make an effort to communicate directly with the patient, but also check that they've understood what you're saying, because we have a tendency to gallop off and assume that what we're saying has been understood and be surprised at the end when the same question is asked again. Uh, the other thing is not to underestimate the power of visual aids for patients, and I certainly do a lot of drawing in my consultations, um, and this so, sometimes is not is frowned upon, but uh, I think it, it's it's really helpful to draw or even actually write what you're saying for patients and have them follow you. And and again, referring back to the film, um, I know that Marie had concerns about having an IV cannula put in because she associated that with her mother's death the previous year. So sometimes it's just showing people the equipment you want to use and in that setting one of the um, things one might do is actually with the permission of another patient with a cannula have that patient come across and say hello to her because first and foremost breaking down the connection between the cannula and, and death is a key thing in, in with regard to the film. But beyond that, visual aids in, in terms of showing people equipment, quite often people imagine the equipment being used is far um, more ominous than it actually is. And um, so I think that's really important.